Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, Cancer. This is um, new for me. I'm going to start doing all the zodiac signs, so please bear with me. Um, if you are interested, your son... In, when watching your sun, your moon, or your rising sign, all the information is in the description box telling you what days those will be posted, okay? So I also do divine masculine feminine readings, which happen to be on Saturdays. Mondays are going to be for all signs, just a weekly check-in, and then I do a weekly reading from, so for you, it'll be from February uh, 2nd, or yeah, or February 3rd, excuse me, uh, until February 10th, okay? So let's go ahead and get started, Spirit. Please show me Cancer for the week of February 3rd. Or February, what is today? February 2nd, my apologies. All right, so have you eaten? You are acting like a big ass baby. So you know what? Nutrition is really important. And the backside, it says you need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. Okay. Cancer, you guys rule the stomach. So you know what? Quick starving yourself. If you're hungry, eat. All right. Um, and eat something that is nutritious, making sure that you are taking care of your body and not just taking care of other pe people. All right. Spirit, please show me the cancer. For February 2nd through February 9th, Spirit, please show me. And my apologies if my dates are off. We are in Mercury retrograde. So, all right, Spirit, please show me cancer. Laugh. Where the fuck is your sense of humor? So laugh. Laugh at yourself. Laugh at all the situations that are going on around you. The best thing is laughter no matter what is happening. Cancer, Spirit, please show me cancer from February 2nd to the 9th. Spirit, please show me cancer from February 2nd to the 9th. Okay, and don't fucking force it. Allow that shit to come to you. So whatever is meant for you will never pass you by, okay? With that said, let's go ahead and get on to the weekly reading, and then we'll do your love reading, all right? Spirit, please show me cancer for the week of, all right? So you are sitting in the hanged man position for this week, all right? At the beginning of the week, it's like you are needing to see things from a different perspective. Um, this also has to do with Pisces, so for some of you, you could be dealing with a Pisces but this is about enlightenment okay and maybe for some of you it's enlightenment on the way that you are eating and your diet and your intake and maybe and it's not even always just intake on food it could be on the intake on what you um, the type of information that you allow to come in for you okay so think about that spirit please show me cancer for the week oh my goodness you guys ace of pentacles so money coming in opportunities of brand new beginnings I love aces because they're opportunities these are a free will card so I feel like you know the best medicine is laughter. For some of you, this could be your health. And for others of you, don't force it. Nine of cups is your overall energy. This is about your hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true. It's like you don't know what is waiting for you on the other side of that curtain. And so I feel like you just kind of have to trust in spirit. And funny enough, I love this. You have the two wishes granted cards in a row. Oh my God. And then look, you have the ace of swords right underneath that. I can keep going. So again, this is about brand new opportunities brand new money coming in, uh, new jobs. And I feel like there's, Spirit just said, there's no victory without sacrifice cancer. So making sure that, you know, you are doing your research, um, you know, and of course we are in a Mercury retrograde, so we don't want to force it. We kind of want to just kind of hang out and see what's going to end up happening. Okay. So, uh, with that said, you know, the Mercury retrograde is happening in your eighth house. So that has a lot to do with taxes, other people's money, um, you know, sex, uh, intimacy, uh, power. Okay. It's a, it's a place of power. And so I feel like for you, your power is in holding yourself back and knowing when to move forward and knowing when to keep yourself, um, right where you are, you know, in that position. So I feel like for some of you, you know, if you, 
I want to say um, getting a massage would be a really good deal for some of you cancers. I'm really getting that here, but a lot of it has to do with not forcing things to happen, allowing things to come to you. New opportunities are literally on the horizon for you, and I feel like, you know, right now they may be a little bit stagnant. But no matter what, you know, you're sitting pretty. You are sitting great right now in whatever this is. So laugh, enjoy yourself. You know, if you are offered, you know, something like to go out with a friend, I definitely suggest you do that. Um, I do want to say that you are working on moving. For some of you, you guys are moving. And I feel like there's a brand new opportunity that is literally going to be offered to you. Um, I feel like for some of you, this could also be a job offer um, or something to have to do with your finances. For others of you, this is a gift of money. Somebody is going to be extending a gift to you, okay? Um, and But you can't force it, okay? Spirit, please show me the Cancer's love life from February 2nd to February 9th. February 2nd to their 9th, their love life. All right, whoa. All right, so we got codependency here. Let go of control issues and holy crap. And release your ex. Okay, so. All right, bottom of the deck. All right, pay attention to the red flags. Uh, the signs are cautioning you, okay? So pay attention to, you know, codependency. Anybody who has codependency or has codependency issues, maybe they're codependent on your finances. For some of you, um, this person is trying to um, establish control over you. I feel like maybe you have given away your power and control or this person has just decided they're going to take it over. I feel like you need to, um, I, and I do feel like for some of you cancers, this is about your ex. This is about your past, and I feel like, you know, your past has hurt you, and it is time to sacrifice that, and I feel like it's time to uh, let go of what no longer serves a purpose. I do feel like this is a family situation for some of you, the fact that releasing your ex letting go of control issues and codependency. The codependency is showing up under the Ace of Pentacles. I feel for some of you, the last laugh is coming. I feel like you're gonna have the last laugh. And you know what this is? You're going to be able to let go of, of this situation. For some of you, this is about child support. You're dealing with a child support issue. Here's a child, here's money. And I feel like you need to start seeing things from a different perspective. And it is time for you to sacrifice and relinquish all control or the control that somebody else has over you. And like I said, I do feel like you're going to end up having the last laugh, like whether this is a child support issue. But I mean, the fact that codependency is underneath this, I just feel definitely that's what I'm getting. And especially when I'm seeing the ex and I'm seeing children and I see, look, the mother and the child here and the father over here, like, hmm, you know, and I feel like, you know, maybe this ex is still trying to control you. Maybe the two of you guys broke up a long time ago um, but I am still feeling like again you have no clue what's coming and I feel like your hopes wishes and dreams are about to come true uh, I just feel like you know pay attention the signs are cautioning you I feel like um, you know be mindful about the way that you're looking about this situation and love yourself first the moment that you start loving you and no longer allowing this to control you the better off you're gonna be and you showing that you have respect for yourself all of a sudden you relinquish the control that other people have over you. Anyway, you guys, if this sounds like your story and you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. You guys like, share, and subscribe. Comment. Let me know how these readings are working out for you. And I look forward to chatting with you again next week. Take care.